wrench down there. What did you say? You've got a wrench. Yeah, you find one in my toolbox. Hello again. In today's programme, we're going to talk about people. Who they are, where they live or used to live, what they do or used to do. So, let's listen to this policeman. He's asking some questions. Hello, Mary. Who is she? Her name's Mrs. Russell. She comes from London. 29 Bridge Road, Acton. She's visiting her married daughter. That's Mrs. Peters. 16 Bramble Lane. Peters, Bramble Lane. I think I know the family. Well, Mrs. Russell was bringing some money for her daughter. 200 pounds. She had it in her bag on the train. But when she got here, the bag was gone. OK, I'll talk to her. Oh, by the way, there was a young man with long hair on the train sitting next to Mrs. Russell. And after he got off, she couldn't find her bag. A long-haired young man, eh? Ah, well, long hair. That explains it, doesn't it? <clears throat> well, tell me about this young man on the train, Mrs. Russell. David, you mean? David? Yes. His name was David Masters. That's what he told you? Yes. He said his name was David Masters, and he told me he lived in Brightsea. I see. Well, he said he used to live in Brightsea. He lives in London now, really. He's a student at the university. He told me that he took his exams last week, and he said he was going back to Brightsea for the holidays. He told you all that? Yes. So, he said he was a student at London University. That's right. And I'm sure he is, Sergeant. He's very nice. Mm. We'll see, Mrs. Russell. Excuse me a minute. That young man? Yes, he's the one we want. He said his name was David Masters. He said he lived in Brightsea. Ha! He does. What? He lives in Brightsea. I telephoned. The Masters family have a son, David. Oh. But he's not at home at the moment. Ah, of course he's not. He's spending that 200 pounds. I don't think so. David. Hello, Mrs. Russell. Are you looking for this? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Are you David Masters? Yes. And you've got Mrs. Russell's bag. That's right. I've got her bag, and she's got my bag. Have I? Yes. That's mine, and this is yours. Your handbag was in it. Were you worried? Yes, a little. It's all right now. Come on, let's go and have a cup of tea. All right. You see, Sergeant, I said he was a nice young man. Goodbye, Mrs. Russell. What did you say about young men with long hair? Me? I said I like them. They're very nice. They offer people cups of tea. Oh, that's what you said. All right, I'll get you one. Thanks. I like young men with long hair, too. He said his name was David. He told me he lived in Brightsea. What did he tell you? What did he say? He said his name was David. He said he lived in Brightsea. He said he was a student at the 
you go, can you read French? Well, yes, a little. I've got a letter here. It's about a summer course you can do in France. Joyce, my wife, wrote to them about it. Let's see. What do they want to know? It says, person taking the course, please give full name. Full name, yes. Address and telephone number. Yes. They want to know if the person is married or single, male or female. Right, I've got that. And they want to know date and place of birth. OK. Now, what's this? Oh, yes. They want to know if you've done any courses in cooking before. Cooking? So that's the course. French cooking. Yes. You see, I told my wife the other day that she was a good housewife but not a very good cook. You told her that? Wasn't she angry? No, not at all. She said I was right. And a few days later, she wrote about this course. So she's going to do the course during the holiday? Well, no. I am. What do they want to know? They want to know. It's Harry Jackson. What does he want to know? He wants to know if anyone is going to the meeting this evening. Tell him somebody will be along. Hello, someone will come. Can I help you? Oh, yes. Um, I'd like to hire a Ford Cortina, please. Yes, how long would you like it for? About two weeks. I'll have a look if I have one. Thank you. What does she want to know? Oh, she wants to know how long we need the car. Oh. Sergeant. Ah, Jenkins. Yes, Sergeant. Your first night here. Yes. Well, first things first, Jenkins. Yes, Sergeant. Sit down, Jenkins. Yes. That man, Sergeant? That man over there. Can you see him? Yes, Sergeant. He is the most dangerous man in Britain. Is he? Yes. His name is William Naylor, Jenkins. He was born in this town, and he went to the local school around the corner. He was there from September until October 1953. But he didn't like the school, Jenkins. No? No. And there isn't a school there now. There was a fire, you see, in October 1953. A big fire. And no more school. No. Do you think William Naylor is married? Jenkins? I don't know, Sergeant. He was married. But his wife had an accident. His second wife had an accident, too. And his third wife. And his fourth. And his fifth. Heavens. He doesn't like policemen, Jenkins. 
He doesn't like young policemen. Young policemen who meet William Naylor don't become old policemen. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So be careful. Yes, sir. He's the most dangerous man in Britain. He was born in this town. He went to the local school. Right. It's time to go out on the beat. Let's join a British Bobby as he leaves the police station for a walk through his area. It's not unusual to see a policeman walking around the streets like this. It happens in most British towns and villages. children. Hello. All right. Where are you all off to today then? Oh yeah. yeah. What are you going in there for? Hey, do you not know? Go and have a look around the police station. You've been in there before. Glad to hear that. See you later then. Ta-da. Bye-bye. Ta-da. Bye-bye. Ta-da. Ta-da. He's there to help people if he can. He always has a lot of people stopping him to ask questions. Have you got the Woolworths in here? Yeah, a, a yeah. Big, uh, the main, the main shop? shopping street is yeah. that street there. See where the traffic lights are? Oh, okay. In between the traffic lights, walk along there. Okay. Woolworths is on the left-hand side of the road, uh, about 300 yards. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. Better. Next time you're in Britain and have a problem, ask a policeman. Well, it's time to remind you of the English we've learned today. He said his name was David. He told me he lived in Brightsea. What do they want to know? They want to know... He was born in this town. He went to the local school. Keep away! Keep away!